We're above a helicopter. We flew into Kauai on a Friday morning and went straight for our first poke fix before checking into our Airbnb in Poipu. Poipu, which translates to crashing waves in Hawaiian, is a small town on the southern side of the island. We stayed at this Airbnb for the first half of our 10 day trip. It had two bedrooms and two bathrooms and we paid $400 a night. We kicked off our first full day with a hearty Hawaiian breakfast from Unko's Kitchen. The portions were huge, the food was tasty, oh, and the prices were very reasonable. I recommend the Kalua hash. Then we set off for our first hike, the Awa Awa Puki Trail. It's a six mile out and back hike that starts out pretty muddy. I found the actual hike to be kind of boring and there aren't really any interesting viewpoints along the way. But the view at the end is mind blowing. The trail spits you out at the Awa Awa Puki Ridge with dramatic drop offs on both sides and an unobstructed view of the Nepali coast and ocean. What the heck? We're above a helicopter. Is it good? Yeah, it's delicious. It's a little tart. <laughs> I feel like you guys are gonna start tripping balls in like 30 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, you're doing it too. Why you gotta do it? <laughs> How would you do it? This is the whole thing. Yeah, it definitely. Mm -hmm. You gotta make sounds. Yeah, really close. Describe your experience. It's very slimy and very sweet, and we might die. <laughs> After our hike, we made a quick stop at Ishihara Market for some more poke. Mm. How's it, bruh? It's hella dank. Hey! You want some of my poke, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Oh god. The next day, we had breakfast at a Nue Nue Cafe. The food was solid, but the portions were smaller than Unko's kitchen, and the prices were higher. <laughs> your dream come true. This is the Costco of Kauai. We're on a mission to buy John a birthday cake. Ooh. Oh, Very LGBT. Oh my god, it's only $13. Yeah. Here we have um, an ancient Hawaiian uh, dessert it's called Pake. <laughs> After our little Costco adventure, we explored the Macau Wahi Cave Reserve, which features Hawaii's largest limestone cave. Aloha. <laughs> Is this how you enter this fucking thing? Let's do it! <laughs> what? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> what the heck? Oh! Carpet. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. The Macau Wahi Reserve is also home to a tortoise sanctuary where you can get pretty close to some huge tortoises. To cap off our visit at the reserve, we checked out this cute and quiet beach. We probably would have spent more time here, but we had plans for John's birthday. Before dinner, we checked out the beautifully landscaped gardens and courtyard of the Grand Hyatt. I was totally enamored by all of the plants, and I got rained on while admiring them. Then, we had a quick hula dancing lesson from our resident <laughs> Hawaiian, Austin. It was kind of a struggle to find a dinner spot for John's birthday because most places seemed to close by 4pm. We ended up eating at Tide Pools, which is kind of fancy and, in my opinion, an overpriced restaurant, but the ambiance was good and so was the food. Happy birthday, John! Everyone got fancy $50 seafood plates, but me, being the cheap ass that I am, opted for the vegetarian option, which was tofu pad thai. <laughs> we just finished dinner and we got rained on. <laughs> Down for <laughs> Monsoon season. <laughs> I really enjoyed strolling around and taking pictures of the immaculately landscaped gardens at the Grand Hyatt. Oh, hello! Welcome to Kauai, the Garden Isle. This is uh, the first part of a three-part series on Kauai. <laughs> this is the sixth of seven islands in the island chain of the state of Hawaii. Aww. Aww. Happy, Happy birthday to you! Look how happy this cake is! Oh, this is a great cake. <laughs> wow. Are you guys ready to snorkel? We woke up at 5.45, crack of dawn, for our 7.30 snorkel tour. And we're drinking coffee so we can poop. Are you excited? Let's go! 
That's our boat. Come on, little doggy. It's so weird. Breathe through your mouth, John. Huh? Breathe through your mouth. Oh. On our fourth day, we set out to explore Waimea Canyon. The cost was $10 for parking and $5 per person, and grants you parking and access to four lookouts and a bunch of hiking trails. You can easily spend an entire afternoon at the canyon. We actually stumbled upon the canyon trail, which is a three mile out and back hike that takes you to the top of Waipo'o Falls. Oh my god, my mom's gonna be like, Link, be careful, too close to the edge. So dangerous. Someone could really seriously hurt themselves on that. Oh god, this kind of scary. Oh my god! What the heck? Even in my sandals, the hike was super enjoyable. The trail itself was a lot of fun because of the variety in scenery, from dry and steep paths overlooking the canyon, to dense and lush greenery, and of course, two awesome waterfalls. Can you come up? <laughs> I would highly recommend rummaging through the corn looking shrubbery which leads to a lower view of the falls. This is so steep. The last two lookouts in the park are Kalalau Lookout and Pu'u Okila Lookout, which I thought was the coolest one of the four. It also has a trailhead which we didn't have time to explore. On our drive back to our Airbnb, we pulled over to check out these red sand duny looking things. I'm not sure if there's an official name for them, but you can't really miss them. We were glad that we saved this for the end because there was no one else there, and the sunset really accentuated all of the vibrant colors. We started off our fifth day at Wailua Falls, which is a 170 foot waterfall that apparently ancient Hawaiian men would jump off of to prove their manliness. We climbed down from the parking lot to the top of the falls. It was tricky, but totally worth it. It felt really exhilarating and humbling to sit on top of this massive waterfall. Apparently, you can also hike to the bottom of the falls, but we couldn't quite figure it out. I got you! <laughs> Next, we did the Ho'opi Falls hike. Look how girthy the vines are. This is so muddy. It's a 2.4 mile out and back hike that follows the Kapa'a stream. I thoroughly enjoyed this trail because it had lots of cool things to climb and dodge. There are two views of the falls. The first one is from the top and it's the easiest to access. Although there are lots of people in the water, it's not recommended because the houses upstream all have old septic tanks which leak into the water. Nicely done! The journey to the bottom of the falls involves navigating a steep descent of rock and tree roots. It seemed daunting at first, but it really wasn't that bad. <laughs> After fooling around on the beach, we checked into our second Airbnb wow. in Princeville, which is on the north shore of Kauai. It had three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and was similarly priced to our first Airbnb at around $350 a night. Wow. What the heck? This is so nice. Is this what happens when you splurge a little bit? Yeah. We stopped for lunch at Simon Dojo. Oh, damn. That looks good. It's known for Simon, which is a Hawaiian noodle soup dish that is similar to ramen. What have you got there? Portuguese metal one. The next morning, we went snorkeling at Tunnels Beach. We rented our snorkeling gear for about $6 a day from a place in Hanalei Bay. 
We woke up early so we could get to the beach before 8, and we were rewarded with good visibility, lots of bright fish, and we even got to swim near a family of sea turtles. After a morning of awesome snorkeling, we made a last minute decision to check out the Sleeping Giant hike, which ended up being one of my favorites. It's a 3.4 mile out and back hike that starts with ascending switchbacks. The entire way up is filled with breathtaking views. After stomping through a bunch of mud and scrambling up some rocks, we finally got to the top. My knees felt a little shaky because we were so high up, and it actually kind of reminded me of the first hike we did, except I thought this one was much cooler. The steep drop-offs on all sides made for amazing pictures and we had 360 degree views of the island. After spending a good 15 minutes soaking in the views, we made our way back down and discovered this series of cool, hold-out rock formations. Oh wow! On our last full day, we had lunch at Tiki Tacos, which was a crowd favorite. Oh, it's also oh, so good. Huge. After lunch, we drove back to Hanalei Bay for our last hike. I read lots of rave reviews, so I was really amped up for this hike. This video is sponsored by... Danner. The Okolehau Trail is a 2.8 mile out and back hike with 1,200 feet of elevation. Muddy, muddy! It was by far the muddiest hike we went on. I liked the foresty parts, but was overall underwhelmed. There's a cool lookout point of Hanalei Bay halfway up, and if you continue going, you are rewarded with yet another somewhat cool lookout point. How would you rate this hike? A 4 out of 5? As you can see, my feet and legs got pretty damn muddy, but then this happened. This happened on the last minute of the hike. My backpack's all muddy too, and my phone. I like these shorts. I would give that hike a 3 out of 5 because honestly, you can just get a better view of Honolulu Valley from this drive up lookout. I'm gonna kick your ass. We spent all of our evenings taking advantage of the ping pong table at our Airbnb and squeezed in one last game before our flight. Oh! <laughs> And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching.